Yo, what is good, my boy? Guess who's back? Back again! Big Daddy Bones. Go tell our friend, huh? Yes, it's your boy, Big Bonesy, back again. We do not care. With another bot lobby tutorial. In fact, I have two methods for you to try today. Both working as of the brand new Season 2 update that has come out today. Do you want opponents like this guy? Seriously, bro couldn't hit a barn door if he tried. If having enemies like that tickles your fancy, stick around buddy, cause it's gonna get hot up in here. So keep the ears open, and the gamer sweat flowing, because we're about to get right on into the first bot lobby method. By the way guys, both these methods work on multiplayer, a separate tutorial for the new resurgence mode will be posted shortly. Let's get it my boy. We start with method 1, my boy I hope you're ready to lay the smack down to these scrubs in pub lobbies, cause I'm about to hit you with it. To start with, like me, get through the updates. Great, now we're through, next, get to the main menu of the game, once here, press circle to go to the same menu I do, the part before you log in, now, if you're on wireless, head over to network settings, then go to turn off internet connection. If you have an ethernet, simply unplug that bad boy and plug it back in about 30 seconds later. The same applies for wireless, turn it back on 30 seconds later. Once you've done this, you'll need to be as fast as you can. Press X to log into the servers, once you're in, in the top right you'll notice your level hasn't actually appeared yet, why is this? Well, Bones has the answer, Infinity Ward still have not fixed this glitch, all they've done is taken away the game mode that it worked in, until now. So once you've logged on, you'll need to be as fast as you possibly can and find the Season 2 mosh pit, and spam X until you're searching for a game. I will show a demonstration of me doing it without any voiceover, so you can the idea. Guys, as I said, this was never patched, they just took the third person playlist away. Sad face. But luckily it's working fine with these new modes, so you can crack on. Just look at some of the KD ratios I've produced using this method over about an hour of playing. Man went in on these guys, made them look silly. My life is getting better and better. Your boy is absolute garbage and cod. But even I'm sending scrubs to Shadow Realm with my jank assault rifle. Guys, don't overlook this, I'm sure they'll be taking the playlist away within a few weeks, especially if they catch on that people are using the playlist for this kind of glitch. But as for all them questions people ask me about it this glitch has been patched. Guys, it's Infinity Ward, I wouldn't worry too much. These guys make EA Sports look like a respectable company, and that's saying something my guy. If you're tired of skill based matchmaking messing around with your lobbies just because you have more than a 0.8 KD, I recommend you try this method. But now guys, we're gonna move on to the second method of this video, and arguably, more effective. Now guys. We're gonna move on to the second method. Oh, we love it. By the way, my boy, forgive the frame drops throughout the video, little technical error on ya boy's part, my bad. So for method 2, I'm gonna start by saying you're gonna need a second controller. I know, I know, getting hold of a PS5 alone has cost people an arm and a leg, never mind the luxury of having two controllers also. But if you do have two controllers, let us continue my friend. Do not worry about having an account that is PlayStation Plus, that really doesn't matter in this case, because the second account won't actually be joining the game, we will just be using him as an algorithm manipulator so that it finds us lobbies more suited to our newbie second account. Are you still with me? Good, keep up buddy. Next, log in with B second account, regardless of playlist plus status. Now, it will give you errors throughout this step, just keep ignoring them. It won't log you out of the COD menu so it's absolutely fine to just ignore the pop-up messages. Once you've ignored them all, now you'll need to follow the next steps very carefully. For this, you won't need to use the Ethernet or wireless method, because you're joining a lobby that's best suited towards the second account you have that I assume is level 1. Obviously don't use an account that's got a sick KD or a high level. Now, listen carefully, hover over the Season 2 Hardcore playlist just like I am, then on your second controller, press circle, but immediately after doing this you must join the hardcore lobby, seriously guys this must be done within a millisecond otherwise it won't work. Once you've done that you should be good to go, I know, hardcore really ain't it, but give it a go.
you'll get so many weapon challenges done, as well as get a higher KD and high kill streaks because of the easier opponents. I am not in danger, Skylar. I am the danger. I mean last season I used my other methods pretty much throughout the whole of season 1. I obtained a solid 2.1 KD and managed to get a nuke a couple of times in the third person playlist. So I know for a fact these methods can and do work. You can't lose, it's a win-win situation for you. This is a must try, I can't imagine you're even debating it. For the real homies who have made it this far, type in the comments my G so I know who the real players are in the glitching community. Anyway, back to the glitch, seriously guys this is the way forward if your intentions aren't to be cancelled by weirdo sweats on the regular, your boy Bones is offering you a hand here, out of the trenches of the sweaty Betty lobbies. Again, look at the sum of KD I was able to produce doing this method, your boy went so and here I almost copped myself a nuke. Bear in mind I'm absolute trash at Call of Duty and people would actually laugh at me if they watched me play. This method is going to work roughly 3 out of 5 times, or around 75 to 80% of the time. Sure, sometimes you'll get the odd sweat who happens to be doing the same glitch as you, therefore he's ended up in your easier lobby. I does happen, it will happen, but that's just the way it goes. Again, I apologize for the gameplay having severe frame drops, it won't happen again, literally, because I threw the capture card so hard up the wall I now have a f hole in the side of my sh caravan. I mean really, this thing has been raided so many times by authorities you would have thought I was some big top guy. No, in fact I just borrow my neighbor's Wi-Fi, occasionally use his swimming pool and gym facilities, and also give his wife a good seeing too. <laughs> yeah, boy. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the bot lobbies, if this video can hit 4 likes I may consider uploading more bot lobby tutorials throughout season 2, as well as many rank XP and weapon XP glitches and guides. For Call of Duty, I am your guy, I've been playing this game since I was a nipper, since the COD 4 days, man knows everything there is to know about these games. This is the place you want to be if you want glitches and bot lobby tutorials on the regular. You should turn the bell on for notifications also, because these glitches slash bugs tend to get patched pretty rapidly, typically within about a day or two. Cheers for watching guys, enjoy the bot lobbies and let me know your best KDs while using either of the methods. Which one worked for you? Which one was more effective? We're now over 2000 subscribers strong, and we're about to charge head on into season 2, even more so than we did during season 1. Seriously guys this time we're covering every glitch, I wanna do everything I can to help a brother out when it comes to his Call of Duty existence. The game doesn't have to be sweaty, if you take measures like the ones I've shown you today, you can make the game way more fun for yourself. Let me know in the comments, cheers guys, only OGs make it to the end. Peace.